Warning, warning. This is going to be like pure white on the background because everything in this uh, I'm showing has like white background. So I was like, oh, I can't really fix it. So we're all doing white. Hey, so if you're watching this at night, turn down the brightness or else you might lose your eyesight. <laughs> okay, you've had your warning. Uh, let's go. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to do a video looking at the newest, uh, or some of the newest anyway. I'm not going to showcase all of them because some of them I'm not really that fussed about. But the new Jurassic World Dominion toys. Because what's better when the movie comes out? We get lots of toys. Uh, this has been taken uh, ma mo mostly from... Um, collect Jurassic. So I will link the article or his website down below where I got a lot of this information from. Um, so we're going to be going over these toys. I'm going to be sort of, you know, giving them, giving you my honest thoughts on them and stuff. But do support them there. Uh, they actually got their, you know, YouTube and Instagram and everything reinstated. So, I mean, this is really good news because there was not too long ago, uh, they got striked and lost their Instagram and it was all this whole big thing and now it's all taken care of. So here we go. So first up, we have the ferocious pack. So there's going to be more of these that enter, um, but we have the, I don't know what that one is, Dimetrodon, the baby um, Nazuto Ceratops, <coughs> Battle of Big Rock, which I think is, I assume, going to appear in Dominion. Uh, there's a reason why we saw those Nazuto Ceratops. <coughs> Nizuto Ceratopi. <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, there's a reason why I saw them in Fallen Kingdom, and I think we even see them in the trailer for Dominion as well, knocking over some vehicle. Um, as well as the Atrociraptor. That is right. I need, like, just a, just a thing that I can just draw right on. There you go. <laughs> uh, the Atrociraptor as well makes an appearance here. Um, as you can see, it's got, like, the sickle claw there on, the, on its two. And I don't know what this thing is, but my god, is it a bomb? Combination. We have like two fingers, so it's like a, a T-Rex, kind of? I think it's supposed to be a young Changosaurus. I think. I could be wrong. The fact that it's got like feathers out here and here and feathers there. It has, you know, the, the two iconic T-Rex finger things it has. Um, so I'm assuming it's a young Changosaurus. I could have went on the article and found it myself. But hey, that's too easy. So moving quickly on, I have nothing really to say here. These are obviously like the, the cheap and cheerful kind of toys that we'll get for like I don't know, $5.99 or $7.99 or whatever it is. Uh, next, um, we start with a new... We actually see the packaging, uh, which is... Oh, lest we not forget the Jurassic World packaging. Remember that T-Rex? Oh, it's beautiful. Love that thing. Uh, but we have a much better render of a T-Rex here. Um, I love this sort of, you know, nighttime shot we've got going. Um, out of all of the... I mean, we've seen three so far, and we'll go over them. Pachycephalosaurus being the first one we're showing here. Uh, now, normally the dinosaurs had their little DNA code on the foot, which you, you would scan in the Mattel app, and you would unlock it. Um, I think you would learn a little bit about it. Unlock the 3D model. The models were all just like Ludia models. Um, we've seen this a lot when it's come to Universal. They take models from other games and put them in uh, different ones. So this app has a lot of uh, Ludia games, like Jurassic World the game, Jurassic World Live models. And then also Primal Ops has a lot of Jurassic World Evolution models in it. It's very odd. Um, I guess it saves time, but... For someone who spends so much time in the universe of Jurassic, this comes across as lazy. Uh, <laughs> especially when they don't credit them. It's like, oh, well, Universal, we own that. So we're going to use it everywhere. I love the packaging. It's a really nice um, look to it. Um, this, however, this Pachycephalosaurus, <sighs> we've already had one. We've already had a Pachycephalosaurus. And not only that, it had a better paint scheme. It, I mean, it's obvious that this is supposed to be the Lost World, Pachycephalosaurus, but we already had that uh, when Fallen Kingdom first came out, when the, when the Legacy Collection first came out. Pachycephalosaurus was released with this color scheme, albeit a bit different. It was a bit more greenish. Um, but as you can see here, there's like a slot inside of its back where you get uh, this, um, the DNA code which you scan. And I, I don't know whether this is supposed to... Uh, stop kids from scanning it without buying the toy because as you can see here it's there's like a little bit of a the strap on it i know what that strap is it's just elastic a, a kid could easily just like and it's just another thing that you know it's either going to be nicked or go missing i feel maybe it locks in and it's like a push release like a proper advanced thing but i don't know 
Uh, but the next one we see is one that is has never been in a Jurassic World movie alive or Jurassic movie at all. I think it's Skull was um, in the Lockwood Manor with all the ceratopsians and stuff like that. I always remember back to Utah, the Natural History Museum, and you have all those uh, skulls up there. It was a beautiful sight. If you ever get the chance to go there, I highly recommend you go there. Even though it says Legacy, well, we have a new ceratopsid uh, toy. Um, I don't know whether it was meant to be something else, but Cosmo Ceratops has definitely not been in. Um, and of course the same sort of gimmick there. Nothing much to say. Paint application leaves a little bit to be desired. I mean, the thing is, right, because now I'm into modeling, or not modeling, um, like, um, <laughs> hello, Vogue. <laughs> uh, I'm into painting models and miniatures. I look at this and I go, yeah, that took me like two seconds <laughs> like to do. I've got an airbrush and I can literally just a little bit of rare. I mean, this sort of, from the looks of it, it's either stenciled or it's airbrushed. Um, it looks very easy to do. Apart from, you know, these bits here probably being brushed on or some sort of paint application that isn't an airbrush. But it's very bland, very basic. Um, then again, this is Legacy. They're, they're the 799s, they're cheap as chips. Um, but uh, especially with there's no, like, it's just black dot for the eye. It, oh, come on, man. If you're going to do it, do a little bit more effort. Um... Whereas here we go, we have a Velociraptor. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the raptor from the Lost World. Uh, something that we run into when it comes to this, the issues. Um, I mean, again, the cheaper chips, cheapest chips, I should say. Um, the paint application is not so bad. It's actually got paint for the eye as well as like a pupil for the eye, which is very nice. It's got a paint on the underbelly. I can't really complain. It's even a new kind of attack feature. I don't even know what this feature is like. I a swivel. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you remember the Godzilla toys with the claw and stuff like that? I don't know, but the, the swivel, it does a little dance. Uh, as well as the DNA thing. Um, it's not so bad. What, what you could say, it needs like paint applications onto the toe claws there. But really, the biggest thing I guess I could say about this being a legacy collection. Uh, and you do have the Jurassic Park gate in there too, I suppose. Is that the head is not the head of a Jurassic, well, the Lost World Raptor. Um, it's the head of a Jurassic Park 3 Raptor, just minus the quills and coloring. Uh, now onto something a bit different and a very empty screen because these haven't really been shown too much. Um, a remote controlled Jeep Gladiator. But it looks like it has some sort of capture equipment on the front, like this here. There's like v-shaped thing looks like it swivels from here and comes out to face the front easy to get your uh, your models in and out of the vehicle which is very nice so it doesn't actually have to have open openable door openable doors if i can even say english james um but it's hard i swear i swear it tells you um so you can just put your figures in without having you know the extra cost of actually having doors and i'm sure that would add to the cost of we'd have to as consumers pay uh it looks like it comes with the draco rex maybe uh with a different paid application um yeah not bad i, I just wish that it would have the biosyn logo there is a lego version in fact i'll probably pop it up now if i remember uh that actually did it on a smaller scale and put the, the biosyn on it so i don't understand why it just can't be here or 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 here. You know, just make it smaller. I would trade that for whatever the heck this is. <laughs> like, oh, we got some canisters as a sticker. This put Biosyn on. And not only that, but we're using a Jurassic World logo, even officially used. I think it was used on posters, actually. I think it was when the movie came out, but the toys ended up using a different one. It's very, very, very early. Jurassic World logo, especially it's even on the freaking remote control. Line. Well, anyway, we'll not spend too long because we've got this. I love this thing. This looks good. Again, missing the biosyn, which, you know, uh, fair enough. But I, w why I would like to have had the biosyn because what are dinosaurs without the, their counterpart? They need something to play off against. You need the vehicles to capture them. You need an army base sort of, you know, dinosaurs versus da da da, that sort of thing. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. <laughs> um, and this is called the Captain Crush truck. You notice they like this, mm, sit, mm, you know, this this thing. Eventually, it'll just be called the mm, truck. <laughs> so we've got obviously a little thing here where a mercenary or some sort of person can sit at the back and fire a missile out the front and go. Pcha! It looks like you've got lights. It would be really cool if they did light up. 
Um, it's not too much to ask for, really, when you think about it, because the Jurassic World or Lost World RV uh, did have lights. It was like a separate thing you put in and it had light lights and it made noises. So this looks like it, it could very well have lights. Um, I'd love if it did, if this was like a separate thing, they just sort of plugged in and clipped onto the bottom and it had some light. That would be cool! You know, kids playing the dark or something like that. Yeah, that would look awesome. Yeah, that would be so cool, because then you would like see the dinosaurs lit up and everything. Anyway, uh, but look, capture and crush. I love that the idea of this is it just picks up dinosaurs and crushes them and kills them. Uh, it does look like um, this is either battle damage or a way to put your... Um, capture your dinosaurs or uh, where you put your figures in like a transport I don't know if they'll go they probably will this is probably all open top and you can just shove uh, like a character in here through that way I would say and this looks like it rotates this mm, love it love it love it love it love it 10 out of 10. Uh, now, we're going to see for the first time, uh, you know, a T-Rex. It's not the first that we're going to showcase here. The Thrash mm, Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I've seen, I mean, it, this to me doesn't look like an actual product. This looks like they've taken an original, uh, you know, an actual T-Rex, like the orange one, and they've just like... Uh, photoshopped over the top of it of what the color scheme will look like. But also, ah, another T-Rex. I'm sick of it. I've got too many T-Rexes. And I wouldn't care if it was just one T-Rex, right? Fair enough, but we've already got two and the toy line hasn't released yet. Uh, you've got a little action bit here. So I think it is pretty much the same T-Rex as uh, as we've seen in the past. I think I think I have this one. I think if you click that, it like rotates its uh, head or something like that. Um, not spend too long on that one. Uh, extreme damage. Here we go. Now, an official look at the Jurassic World Dominion packaging. We have the Velociraptor and we have the Colorus or Silorus. Um, and I think this this came in like wave three or four with Fallen Kingdom. I think I have it. It's it's actually what's interesting actually. I think the colorus in Fallen Kingdom set is actually this kind of color, except a little bit more red. These being the th these are the three D renders. These two, um, but then these are the actual products. And as you can see on the renders, they've got like a clear slash through them. And then on the actual products, they've got red. Um, they also have an action feature. It looks like I'm not sure if you press that because it, it shows you pressing it here, but it doesn't show what it does. Maybe the head moves, but then I don't know. I think they might just be posable. So if you press that, maybe the, the, the red inside glows and it makes a noise. Possibly. It doesn't say in it, I don't think. There is not, no evidence is shown to give it any uh, voice features. But I will admit, this raptor is sexy. That is, that's a nice raptor. I like it. I like the color scheme. I like the, the eye, the orange eye to contrast with the pale and cool colors. The rest of it, the black sickle claws. Shame that the uh, hand claws aren't painted. But that, even the paint application for inside the mouth, if it does look like that, because you can see the eyes actually here on the model itself. Ooh, ooh, that is, mwah, mwah, that is a beautiful raptor. Beautiful. Uh, moving on to, why are we still here? Oh, oh no, no, you were so close. I, I don't understand this. For a start, I think these are actually bigger than the Snap Squad. So what you're seeing at the bottom here, I think these are either a new wave of Snap Squad or they're old waves. Um, but basically, I'm bringing them up here against these things um, because they just do everything better, the Snap Squad. I don't get this. I don't get the realistic head um, and the, the 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 weird chibi proportions. Um, in fact, well, this is this is actually baby blue. This is beta. It's actually not blue. So that kind of makes a little bit more sense because it is the baby version. But then again, why? <laughs> why? Just make a snap squad. Look at the personality. This looks... These bottom guys look like they could be from Land Before Time or something. They could be their own... Starring their own little, uh, you know, animation. Whereas this looks like... 
Oh, it's hot. Oh, no, it does nothing for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you press its bu the button on its head right there, and then it does a roar, as you can see, and it looks like it moves forward. Maybe it jumps or something. Maybe it's got wheels underneath it. It's the uncaged. No, no, nothing about that says I want to buy that at all. I don't, like, tell me in the comments below what you think, but this is, ooh, no, if I wanted a chibi little version, I get a Snap Squad. It's cheap and cheerful. It'll be like four quid, if that. This thing, because it's got electronics in it and a battery and multi, it's going to be like 10 to 12 quid. Oh, it's like three or four times the price. No, 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 no. Mattel, I don't know what you were doing. But anyway, just thought I'd let you know. That's my that's my review of that. Uh, this one as well. Um, this is another... Oh, no. <laughs> um, so basically what they've done is they've taken the colossal uh, legacy Brachiosaur. They've put new paint on it. Uh, I don't know what to say. I honestly think they've actually legit taken the original one. Maybe it didn't sell that well. And then they just put this paint on it. And they put a little bit of glitter on it. And then they've put different colors on here. And then they've added this thing. And now they're repackaged it. They're selling it. They're selling it. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not falling for this. This is rubbish. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I don't know what you've tried to do. You tried to bling it up. This is like pizza with gold leaf on it. I'm not gonna pay another hundred quid for gold leaf. Are you kidding me? It's a waste of money and gold. Use that for something else. Jesus. I don't know what this. Nah, this gets a this gets a, a wow 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 sound effect. <laughs> don't even know what the sound. Did I put it in? Who knows? Anyway, uh, onto the roaring Allosaurus. Extreme damage. Um, interesting. Now I don't know whether I mentioned that with the uh, the raptors or the extreme damage that having a constant damage on show has never been. I've never liked it. You know, that's supposed to be after the fight or something like that, but it goes into it with the damage. And even as a kid, I was like, eh, uh, no. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, but no, I'm all right. Very interesting. And then I, I assume probably a squishy bit inside as well as like the DNA thing that you pull out there. Eh, I'm all right. Eh, it's very similar. It's a lot bigger than the Allosaur we have at the moment. But then again, it's, it's tail is so short not even the length of its head to its thigh so it's it would it's, i don't know if you're making it bigger at least make the tail bigger i get it's like awkward and like add for packaging but yeah, have it detachable and then not only detachable but have it like or attachable have it detachable so you can take it off because a lot of these things like the um the brachiosaur once you once you clip that tail on you're done you ain't getting that thing off um, which is, you know, sucky if you want to transport it. So, meh, Allosaur, meh. Uh, another meh is this T-Rex. A second T-Rex. Maybe it's not a legacy T-Rex or whatever, but this is a Jurassic World Dominion one. Extreme damage. Again, not a fan of it. This, to me, screams it's just the, um, it's a recolored uh, Jurassic Legacy T-Rex because that one also was very basic. It was very cheap. I think it was like 19 pound if that. I don't know what that is in dollars. A detachable tail, except for this time, it's got like an action feature. Again, it's got a button you push down that does something. It doesn't tell you exactly what it does, um, but there's some sort of thing going on with the neck. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, and also the DNA card thing that you pull out. But this... Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, now on to this. Oh, wow. The Giga. Super Colossal Giga. Now, I've deliberately sort of uh, added this little bit in here. In case anyone was sort of curious as to what this thing looked like with its mouth closed. So it probably looks something like that. I just thought I'd have a little play around with it. Um, because I'm sure it'll be able to open and close its mouth. Or at least I hope so, if it's going to put stuff in it. So if you're, if anyone knows anything about the, um, the Colossal line, it's basically a giant hunk of plastic that's hollow. Um, and you can put other dinosaurs into it. And it takes up a lot of space. I mean, a lot of space. And it's, as far as playability with other things, it doesn't really synergize with anything. It's kind of just this big statement piece. If you don't have much room for, you know, toys or collectibles, maybe you just want, uh, like, one big one. And then here's, this is it for you. It's our first proper look outside of the trailer, officially, at the Giga. 
Um, and it looks exactly like it does. It's got the it's got the mean eyebrows at the top. You've got all of these scales as well. These vicious looking things. Very villainous. Very evil looking. It's also got a bit of the Indominus Rex in the jaw as well. Which I don't think it did in the movie. I think this is just them. I mean, they know that Indominus Rex sold well. They're trying to make it look like an Indominus Rex. Even with the jaw, like, unhinged in a way. Whereas that was very Indominus rex and You've got a little bit of it here. Yeah, it, it's very, it screams Indominus Rex, but also a little bit different. So, yeah, uh, really cool. Nice looking. I mean, we'll definitely have a look at it and compare it to the other things, of course. I mean, what else do we going to do here? It's not like we spend our money on anything else but dinosaur toys. And now, sound slashing Therizinosaurus. And look at the Therizinosaurus that we have seen in the trailer. This is a very nice piece. You've got the articulation here, you've got articulation there, and you'll have articulation at the elbow. So this claw should be able to make a variety of different, uh, here I am doing it for you, uh, a variety of different maneuvers. I'm assuming that you'll have a ball joint in the wrist so its hand could literally do that. This is like a pivot and a flex back and forward, so basically the same. And I assume this is a ball joint as well for the elbow. So you can do anything, like you can have this thing hold something, you could have it like go up to slash something, you can pose it in loads of different ways. So if we just have a look at all of these, points of articulation um it, there's so many and you'll probably have one for the tail uh, and let's not even forget the actual jaw itself will be detachable so you've got oh not detachable move like up moving uh, open up and down i guess you could open its mouth there we go we can say it eventually <laughs> um so yeah out of all of them so far i think the sound slash and there is in a source is up there with toys that I'm most excited for. 100%. This thing looks so freaking cool. I like the color. I mean, this white looks a bit odd. It's like too white, if you know what I mean. Uh, like, you very rarely, when you're painting things, um, ever put white on something, because it's just so contrasty. Uh, and you can see it here. It's like, Whoa, that is white, <laughs> even with a white background. Uh, but this would be the, mo the thing I'm most, most excited for if it weren't for something that has just recently been revealed. And that is the friggin' Isla Sorta Capture! I mean, we need like, hold on, where is it? There it is, there it is. Hell yeah, look at this thing. This, I feel, wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for Jurassic Park fans. And I know that uh, the Jurassic Outpost have a lot to do with, um, you know, Mattel will have a lot of contact with Universal. Um, so this wouldn't surprise me if this only manifested into existence because of them and us as Jurassic Park fans, because it is so good. Not only do we have something that was incredibly rare to come by outside of America, or at least for me anyway, living in England, I never saw these in-gen vehicles. The Hummer and the uh, RV, and stuff like that when I was a kid didn't exist in the UK or very, very rarely. Uh, I don't remember seeing them at all on the shelves. Um, but then again, I was a kid, so maybe I was on, wasn't looking in the right places. Uh, but finally, we have, and again, this is legacy collection, so it might be hard to come by if you're outside America too. Uh, UK and Smiths will probably be the one that has it since Toys R Us kind of died a long time ago. But look at this. It's so good. Like they got the engine. You've got the freaking engine, Loco. You've got a spare tire put in there for extra detail. You've got this. Like, if you just want it, like, this is what I love. This is this is why Kenner was so good. If you just want it as a vehicle, you've got it. Like, look, there it is. There's your vehicle, done. But let's say you want to go that extra step and you want to make it interesting. You've got, like, a freaking missile launcher as well. Not only with, you know, one or two, I assume three darts. I was going to say four because one might already be in there, but yeah, it's three darts because you can see down here click this button down here to let go of it. The reason why I know, I, I feel like I know this is made by fans. Not only do you have this vehicle with the engine logo, with, you know, the sort of right color schemes. Friggin' Roland, like a character that, you know, you wouldn't really care about if you weren't a fan of the old franchise. And not only that, in this exact you know, scene when he's chasing down the dinosaurs. He, he pulls out his, you know, his list from InGen and he, he, he like loses it and he points towards the para and he calls it Elvis. And uh, w would you believe they've got a little baby parasaur, a little baby Elvis. 
And it's nice that it's not like a fully, I mean, it'd be really cool if it was a fully grown one because that scene when it like, you know, they sort of surround it is so iconic, uh, at least to fans of the Lost World, maybe not in general. Um, but it, like a fully grown one would be really cool. And maybe the paint application could have been reminiscent of the Lost World, but also in the same breath, it's nice to have a different colored parrot because that one in Lost Worlds, you see it all the time. And it would have been cool maybe to have had it in like the Dominion para, but we'll probably get that later. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it there. That's that's the end of this little toy review. I know I wanted to keep this quite short, but we're half an hour now. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, we'll of, of course cover more when they come out. Um, and we'll set up slideshow like this. We'll just kind of go over it. Uh, big thank you to uh, Jurassic Collect, or Collect Jurassic, uh, for not losing his entire Instagram and being banned off the internet sort of thing from Mattel. That's very good. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, Sharing all this all information you'll find his link in the description below and you keep up to date there and eventually i'll get around to making a video on it and get my sort of review beavers review top picks if you enjoyed this video leave a like until next time i'll see you cuties later oh bye bye